Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, I'm King Dino and on this episode we are staying in Bendigo and we're staying at the Big Four Caravan Park Ascot. This place is incredible. Um, we've actually hired out the pooch pad so Twyla is going to have a ball. We're staying here with my sister-in-law and my nephew Hudson and we will be going around Bendigo checking everything out but before we do that let me take it into the pooch pad and show you around. <laughs> it is so good and when we got here on the table there was even brochures with pet friendly things and also they left us a free doggy wash for Twyla a free bike ride for Hudson I tell you these guys are amazing and even in the back courtyard there's doggy poop bags there's a water bowl and did you see the front door mats and the back door mat it is so cute Anyway, let's go inside and see what we're gonna have for dinner. Okay, so after that tour, it's taken a lot of energy and my sister-in-law has made this amazing, look at this for dinner, platter. Adam, what do you think of the accommodation? It's a perfect size. We're now gonna downsize. No, we're not downsizing. Yeah. Oh, stop it, stop yourself. <laughs> anyway, so this here is what we're having for dinner. And uh, and then we're just gonna chill out. cooking some egg and bacon muffins so we've got our eggs and then we've got our bacon and there is our muffins all getting ready Jen was nice enough to go out and grab us some Macca's coffee and we're gonna get these made and then head out and explore good morning Twyla Before heading out and exploring Bendigo, I thought I'd show you the facilities around the caravan park. So let's go.
we have just arrived to the Great Stupa to come check out one of the biggest jade Buddhas in the world. And I mean, look at this building and this garden. How awesome is this? Anyway, we're gonna head inside. We just were found out we can take Twyla in. How cool is that? I don't know if we can take her in the actual building, but we can take her in and yeah, let's have a bit of an explore around. <laughs> just came through the main building and we watched a six minute video which was fantastic i suggest doing it it just gives you a bit of the history of this humongous place it's amazing and when you first walk out of the main building you enter into their peace gardens this is where a whole heap of different religions have got different parts all around and you know what it's all about peace and love and living together in harmony and in the center of that, we have this beautiful building. Now let's go explore the gardens. Here is the Jade Buddha. Look how beautiful you can go up on stage. You've got to take your shoes off and get a photo in front of it. There's no problems. And one of the, we just did a 15 minute tour. I suggest you do it. You find out lots of information about all the different statues in here. Look how fantastic this is. It looks amazing. And then in this building, they're going to be painting the roof. If you have a look, It's going to be one massive painting and this here is what they're going to be painting on the roof. How amazing will that look? So there's still about another, I think, I think he said four to seven years of building. Um, but this place is absolutely huge and definitely recommend coming and seeing it. I definitely will be coming back to see the end product. It's just amazing.
So I've just arrived in the middle of Bendigo. We're just walking around looking for somewhere to eat. Now we think there is a pretty cool spot that we're looking for. Now I'll just get the name. Jam, what's the name? Chancery. Chancery Lane. And it's meant to have a bit of a food thing happening down there. So we're gonna go check that out. nice lunch we've got ourselves a nice pims and sipping on that while we wait for our food and I'll tell you it's such a nice day here sitting outside very nice So the very first place we ever visited in our van was here, actually in Bendigo. And we actually have been here before with Twyla and she can walk through the garden. So you can bring your dog down here. You can't go into the museum obviously with your, with your dog, but yeah, the gardens are beautiful. So you can bring them down, bring your dog down and go for a walk. But anyway, I'll link that episode down the bottom. Um, if you want to check it out the first time we went away in our van here, but otherwise, we're going back in and showing Hudson. What's Twyla think of the sheep, Adam? Yeah, she'll play with them. She's looking. Oh, look at her, <laughs> looking at it. Oh, she's winding. Hello. Look, everyone, it's your sister. It's your sister. The, the lamb's coming over. The lamb's coming over. Oh, kisses. Kisses. Oh, oh, kisses. kisses. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> that was louder than what I thought. Oh, look, they're going to give him a kiss. Oh, that's so loving. I thought that was the electric. Yeah. I think I thought that was the electric fence. Oh, it's a bar. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're gonna be scared, honey. Oh, that is the cutest. All right, let's go eat our dinner. And it's not lamb, it's okay. We're eating beef. <laughs> we just got back from picking up our Chinese. We thought we'd eat it tonight in the cabin and take advantage of it. And then, if Huddy's lucky, we might be going to the jumping castle. Is yeah. it jumping, jumping pillow? Jumping pillow. Woo! All right, well, anyway, we're going to go tuck into this now. Bye. Hudson, are you obviously not wanting Chinese tonight and you've decided to go with a breakfast favourite? Yeah. Very good. All right, well, Twyla, what are you going to eat? What are you eating? <laughs> So what are you eating, Adam? Oh, you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's hot and sour soup, but I just realised there's prawns. Yeah, we don't normally order prawns. I can fish them out. And um, and Adam and Jen tonight <laughs> are having these. What are they, Jen? Um, like a soda. Oh, it's a gin. Oh. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, gin and soda. All right. Well, let's eat. <laughs> Gotta get up. We've got a big day ahead. Good morning, Twyla. So this morning we've got our eggs cooking again. We've got two sunny side up, and we've got two people that don't like them sunny side up. And then we've got our hash browns today, something a bit different, and our muffins there, bacon, vegan bacon muffins. Awesome. So yesterday I showed you around the park. Today I'm going to show you what Hudson, my nephew, got up to while staying at the Big Four. Check this out. There is so much for the kids to do. So think about booking this for your next day. Okay, Huddy, are you ready to do the Ninja Warrior course at the Big Four Caravan Park? So we've just come back into Bendigo City. We thought we would stop off at a bakery um, and Jen has heard that they have very nice vanilla slices. So we're just looking for that bakery right now. But otherwise, we're just gonna have a quick look around before heading to a winery on our way home. And um, yeah, the day started off really nice. It's starting to get a bit cloudy now. So we'll see what we end up with. So unfortunately they're closed, but anyway, We'll look for somewhere else to go find 
a vanilla slice. But look at that. Look at the awards they've won. So hopefully these guys open soon. So next time you're here, you can come check it out. Made from Cabernet, um, so it's nice and dry and savoury and nice pretty floral notes on the nose. Yeah, well one of the uh, women, her husband subsequently became known as Happy Jack um, and they opened up a, a public house or a you know, pub uh, in Lockwood South which is still known today as Happy Jack's. So we've stopped off on the way home to Killy's Cranky Wineries. It is absolutely beautiful here. They don't grow the actual grapes on the property here. They grow them not too far away. But just this site is absolutely beautiful. From where you taste the wines in this historic building to the grounds, which are absolutely beautiful. Check out this tree that you can sit underneath. Oh, that's John there. He's the one that was giving us our wine and it was absolutely beautiful. And he tells you a lot about the history of the place if you ask. And as well, just over here is where we sat out under some cover and it was absolutely nice just to sit out there in the sun and enjoy um, a cheese platter that we brought ourselves and then as well have their wines. Anyway, let me take you through this property and show you around, it's absolutely beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. I've popped down below the last time we were in Bendigo, so check that video out. And while you're down there, and if you're enjoying our videos, please support us by liking, subscribing, and tell everyone about us. And until next week, have a good week, and we'll see you next Sunday. See you guys.